Attaching documents, such as an invoice, an illustration, or an event flyer, to an email is straightforward. Same thing with photos. To illustrate, we'll write an email to a family and attach a document to it. First, find the document you'll be attaching, either on your computer or stored in the cloud. Then, under the text of your email, click the Attach File button. You can click here to choose a file, or you can find the file on your computer and drag it to the window. Either way, the green check mark will show that the file is ready to be uploaded to the email. You can attach more files the same way, and use the green check mark to select the ones you'll upload. Then click the Attach Files button. Once uploaded, you'll see it in the preview of the email. Your email recipients will see a hyperlink to the document in the body of your email. If the document is one that you use often, perhaps a welcoming letter to families, leave it in the Select Files section so you can reuse it without re-uploading. To delete a file, let your mouse hover over it and click the gray X. If you have an account with the web storage service Dropbox, you can add files from your Dropbox to emails by clicking the Choose from Dropbox button. Your email recipients do not need a Dropbox account to view the file you attached. Adding photos and other images to an email is done the same way. Upload or drag the image file to the Upload Files area, then click the Insert Image button. The file must be a JPEG or other image format. The only difference between photos and documents is that the photos will show in the email itself, rather than having only a link the mail recipient must click on.